So there's always a little bit of confusion about how to answer these, so that's why I wanted to take some time and walk over them. So when I start answering a word problem, my requirement is, is that you always try to give more. We don't need to give an answer. Get it? So I'm going to walk through how I do a word problem. When I've read a word problem, after I've read it or as I read it, I circle things that are important. So Empire Elementary School needs to purchase water bottles for field day. There are 2,142 students. This is a number. Automatically, I'm going to write it down. I write it down before I even move on. It forces me to stop and evaluate. Okay? This is the number of students. Now, Prince or Principal Vader rounded to the nearest what? 100 to estimate how many water bottles to order. What did he round to the nearest? 100. So I'm going to underline that place value. Now, do I know what his number is? Did it tell me that? So I'm going to do the rounding that he did. He rounded to the nearest 100, which means he used the tens place value. I circled it because I know it's going to become a zero, but it tells me what it did to the four or the four does to the one, excuse me. So four tells me four or four. less, let it rest. Four or less, let it rest. So the one's going to rest and stay the same. same. Everything after that zero has to be a zero. Everything in front's gonna stay the same. So this is what he rounded to. Do you agree? Yes. So I've just done that work. I got to here. Will there be enough water bottles for everyone? No. What's my answer? No. no. Why? Why is there not enough? Okay, so what I'm looking at, right, is that I have this number and I've rounded it. But what am I looking for? Will there be enough water bottles for everyone. And Murphy, you said what? Whatever I've rounded to has gone down, right? So this number is too low. What's going to happen? How many people aren't going to have enough? 42. These 42 guys over here don't have a, uh, have a water bottle, right? So, no, there will not be enough, it's kind of messy, water bottles. How many people? 42. 42 students will not have one. Do you agree? Yes. Now, what would have been the more reasonable, girls, what would have been the more reasonable position to round to? You rounded to the nearest hundred. Now, I would have said, I would have gone ahead and rounded up to 200. So I would have ordered, I'm going to still round in the hundreds, but because I'm not going to have uh, enough. Now they didn't ask me this in the question, but it's just a good idea. Now, is this a real world issue? Yes. yes. Dr. Or Arnoldson and the PTA, they ordered our fun run bottles. If they ordered the bottles and you didn't get one, would you be disappointed? Yes, you would be bummed. I need your bottle, right? So it is a real world thing that they have to do. Do they want to just have one extra? Do they want to just have two extras? No. No. They want to get a number that makes ensures that everybody's going to have a water bottle. And if they end up having some left over, what can probably happen? Give some to a sibling, save them for the following year, right? Okay, let's go ahead and look at the next problem. So when we're looking at the next problem, I know that we're looking at a state fair, right? 
And opening day at the New York State Fair in 2012 had an attendance of 46,753. What's my number? 46,753. wrote it out of order, right? Now, notice I stopped there and wrote my number. Then I go on, decide which place value to round. It's the same number, right? To if you were writing the newspaper article. Okay, I'm writing a newspaper article. What place value would I round to? Would I leave it as it is and then say the exact number? No. Would I round to the nearest 10? No. Would I round to the nearest 1,000? Yes. Yes. Or sorry, nearest 100, sorry. Yes. No. Nearest 1,000? Yes. Yes. Could I round to the nearest 10,000? Yes. Yes. Either answer could be reasonable. Now, your answers vary on this one, so let's explain it, okay? If I had this number and I rounded to the nearest 10,000, the number would be 47,000. Do you agree? Okay, so this is rounded to the nearest 10,000, or sorry, nearest thousand. Whew, getting confused today. Now, if I wanted to round this number, again, notice I rewrote it, to the nearest 10, thousand it would be fifty thousand so there's two different things that you could say I'm a reporter I'm going to round to forty seven thousand and I would write that down as a reporter I rounded to forty seven thousand because 47,000 is closer to the actual number. Is it more accurate? Yes, it's closer to the real number. 46,000 over here, I rounded to 50,000. Lots of different reasons could be given. I've noticed that in newspapers, most of the time they choose the largest number or they're trying to sell more newspapers so they're making it bigger than it actually is. Are you the reporter that's going to look for more, or are you the reporter who wants to give the most accurate report? It's, a, it's up to you. You get to decide. This is one of those questions where you're explaining the real world, right? And in the real world, could, could a reporter have done either of those? Yes. Yes, but they have to have a reason behind it because I'll get more people, I'll sell more newspapers if I use the bigger no. number. If I, I want to make sure that I'm getting really accurate information, I want to be really honest. So in my explanation, I would actually write that out. I would round two and I give the number because and I give the reasoning why that's what I'm looking for not just the number because it's closer get it I know that in a jet airplane holds I'm gonna write down my number how much does it hold 65,000 gallons this is a gas, right? And it should be, I'm going to go ahead and write gallons. It uses about 7,460 gallons when flying between New York and New York City and Los Angeles. So this is on a trip. Do you agree? Okay. I'm just talking myself through my numbers. I stop at each point. Then I say round each number to the largest place value. Okay, what is the largest place value? Is it the one, ten, hundreds, thousands, or ten thousand? 
10,000. So I'm going to round this number to the nearest, which would be 70,000. Okay, it's still measuring in gallons. Now this number, I'm going to round it to the nearest place value. So it's ones. So I'm going to round to the nearest thousand. When I round to the nearest thousand, it is 7,000. Now, then find about. Is it going to be the most accurate answer? No. Not necessarily. I know it's going to be an estimate, so it's not going to be the exact answer. How many trips the plane can take between, uh, take between cities before running out of fuel? So my answer is going to be a number of trips. Uh-oh, I don't know what to do. What do I know? No, say it with me. What, what do, do I know? know? Well, I know that the biggest number is what? 70,000. And I know that 70,000 is all of the gas in my airplane, right? But in one trip, it takes about 7,000 gallons of fuel. So if I have 70,000 gallons of fuel, and it takes 7,000, how many what times can I go on those trips? 7,000 times a number gets you to 70,000. Now, this is that real world application. Have you seen problems like this? Yeah. All the way back in module one, lesson one. We did the sprint and we talked about how if a number goes from a place value to the next place value, how many times is that? Ten. 10 times. So my answer is 10. Did I have to learn how to multiply or divide those numbers to get that answer? I just have to go back and apply what I have learned. Remember, that's the whole point of our lesson today is to apply that knowledge. So that means they could go on the trip of seven and use 7,000 gallons, how many times? Ten. 10 times. They can make 10 <laughs> trips. Get it? Yeah. Today you are working on applying the knowledge that you have learned to real world situations. Get it? Yeah. Tonight for your homework, you do have lesson 10 homework. Get it? Bye. If you need help, you can use the videos off of the Bell Bulletin um, website and go to the Indian Hills 4th grade math website and that will help you. Get it? 